Stevenson gets the 33-21 win over Misericordia on homecoming. Glenn Clark with head coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, I'm sure it was not the cleanest game that you could have asked for, sure. but the heart that your team showed in the second half when they were faced with adversity to come away with this one, I imagine you're pretty proud of that. Yeah, proud of the effort in the second half. You know, we've just got to do a better job of getting ourselves mentally and emotionally prepared to play football games. Um, you know, homecoming is a lot of distractions, a lot of things going on on campus, but, you know, we still have a job to do, and our job is to win the football game so everybody can leave the stadium happy. So a um, little frustrating from, from some aspects. Um, you know, I thought we let them hang around a little bit too long, and you know, particularly in the first half, I think we turned them all over three times. And, you know, one, you know, batted balls, things like that, you know, they happen. So you just kind of got to live with those things. But, you know, all in all, proud of the effort. All right, so let's go to fourth and goal from the 21, right? There's, what do you do in a situation like that? You got to throw for the end zone. Uh, I've seen a lot of plays here. I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like that. Obviously, completely flipped the game. And for all the struggles that Nair had to make a throw like that, that was that was big time stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was tough down there. That you know, the wind was you know wasn't a constant wind, but it was tough. You know, I think throwing the football was obviously tough. Kicking the ball today, um, yeah, that was you know big play. We, we you know when we needed it, and you know he's. As he as he plays more, you know, I think that you're going to see more of those types of plays from him because, you know, every time he takes a snap, he gets better, and that's you know that's what we're looking for from from a quarterback, and he certainly fits the bill for sure. That was unbelievable. Uh, you redefine the word workhorse today. Uh, Louis set a new record for most carries ever for a Stevenson player with 43. Just kept going back to him, back to him. What? Why was the day for him to just take on that entire workload? Well, you know, we're a little bit beat up in, in the running back room, and um, you know, we've got some guys that you know hopefully get healthy for next week. But uh, you know, he, he, he's a tough kid. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know that I've ever met a running back that didn't want to touch the ball 43 times. So um, <laughs> you know, and, and he, you know, he does a great job. You know. There was a couple couple big plays where, you know, contact was made in the backfield and, and you know, he ended up getting a first down on the screen and you know, so you know, lots of you know, lots of hidden yards out there and you know, just a great effort by him today. The screen was massive. And then uh Rutkowski, right, there at the end to close it out the way that he did. Um Coach Russ Myers we're talking about like his journey to this point and how he's continued to, to do more and more things for this team. Um, to come away with two plays like that there. It was a pretty special day for him. Yeah, you know, when you, you know, came here as a quarterback, I uh, was a quarterback for a couple of years, and we, you know, we flipped him over to defense. And, um, you know, the two interceptions, obviously fantastic plays. But, you know, I, you got to go back to the punt return. You know, th that was a big spark for us in the third quarter. Um, you know, put us in position, to, you know, to score. And, um, you know, he's a mature kid and, you know, great kid to have around. And, and you know, certainly glad he's here. All right, so uh, I hear there's a big game next week. I hear there's one that's pretty significant. What, what do you need from this team to step up and be able to be ready to go win a game like that on the road? Well, you know, it's like any other game. You, you know, and, and, I, and I guess it's, it, you know, it's, e it's easy to say that. It's cliche. It's coach speak to say that. Yeah. Um, it is. It, but that's the reality of it, right? You know, you have to handle business one game at a time, and, um, you know, that's a place we've never won before. So, you know, we've got to be mature. We've got to handle our emotions. We've got to go up and, you know, and, and, and play our best football. But but that was today's goal, too, you, you know, was to play our best football. And so, you know, as we look at the week, we've got to, you know, manage the emotion of it. We've got to, you know, get on the road. We've got to be mature on the road. And, you know, we've got to be able to handle the situation. And, um you know, be the best football team that we can be. All right, Coach, appreciate you. Congratulations on a big win on homecoming, and we'll see you again here in two weeks. Thanks very much. It's Coach Ed Hoddle. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.